Hello everybody. In this tutorial we're going to explore the design software Podworks 2D uh, and its interface. Uh, the main topic that's going to be focused is going to be your job title palette, drawing palette, toolpath palette and uh, creating or importing a vector file. As I mentioned down here, uh, hopefully you guys have uh, installed the software application successfully that we downloaded uh, from the website in the last tutorial. It will look uh, like a shop off folder. Under that is going to be a Potworks V2, which is a 2D design software, Potworks 3D, which is a 3D design software, and SP3, which is going to be a Shabbat control software. We're going to take a look at the Potworks uh, 2D design software. And as you guys can see, uh, the moment it will open to bring up the Vectric. Uh, Vectric is the name of the company who developed the software for uh, Shabbat, uh, known as Potworks. Uh, create a new file or access or open an existing file. Well, this software saves a file format uh, named as .crv. So if you already have a file and you want to edit it, open an existing file. You can also open some PDF uh, or DXF files using this. Uh, creating a new file, that's going to be the main thing that we'll use it here. Uh, so let's do that, create a new file. Uh, as you can see here, job setup palette has been opened as we clicked on create a new file. The size here is the material dimension, width and height of your material. I'm going to use 48 inches by 48 inches here. The thickness here it's gonna be the material thickness that you have um, when you go to any hardware store and you bring the material and make sure you measure it with the digital caliper because you might have asked for a 0.5 inch thick of a plywood but again um, those dimensions are not precise and if you will measure it with the digital caliper you will of course find some flaws and it will not be 0.5 but it will be 0 0.47, 0 0.48 and 0.49 even the material thickness will vary uh, at the different side of the material as well. Uh, setting up a zero position here, if your CNC machine is going to access your material from the top, it should be set up on the top. If your machine is going to access your material from the bottom, it should be set up at the bottom. In our case, it's going to be from the top. So keep it here. This is X and Y origin position. Uh, well, what is X and Y? origin position it's uh, x and y zero location from where the cnc machine will start machining entire your part so if it's set in the center it's going to start from center uh, and this is going to be positive x positive y and so on and so forth so you can set wherever you feel like but make sure wherever you set your x and y origin position in this design software you set it exactly on your machine or when you uh, set a zero on your machine. Now, I'm going to set it here. It's just more easy to deal with. Uh, use origin offset. Mm. Well, every vector based software uh, that has their own X and Y locations. If your X and Y location that you used in your vector software like AutoCAD or, or Illustrator or SolidWorks and if it does not match here you prepare all the toolpath and finally when you will see the preview on the Shabbat control software it will show that your material that your design has been executed off of the material so that happens when the X and Y origin on your on your uh, design software package Illustrator or SolidWorks uh, is different than what it, it is here. So make sure you use origin offset and make sure it is zero zero and that's usually that works for us works for me. Uh, data scaling. If you prefer, I mean, if you're intending to scale your data, or scale your job, you can check that option. It's disabled for now, but you can just enable uh, later. Like if you say OK, and if you go back and change it here, you will see it's been enabled. Um, center data in the job is more like uh, you can center uh, any of your vectors. Uh, 
in the material and you can use it but it's more or less gonna be a waste of a lot of material on the corners unless your material exactly fits your design now uh, units are gonna be the units if you have design your or if you design in the software package Illustrator or AutoCAD or SolidWorks is in inches make sure you select your inches if it's millimeter make sure you select millimeters here now once you close the job setup palette is going to be opening a drawing palette instead I mean at the same place uh, you can see create vectors you can create some basic vector shapes here and you know you can create circles or rectangle or or maybe holy lines uh, or maybe splines. Uh, so if you want to do it here, you can do that here as well. Whoever have used the AutoCAD or similar software environment, uh, they might be able to understand this edit vector area a little better. It's more like group the objects, uh, rotate the objects, mirror objects, array, join, offset, and things of that nature. It's going to be align objects where you can align your object uh, at different size or maybe the center of your material. Layers are going to be whatever the layers you might have made um, if you import the file from a different software and whatever the layer that file will have it will show up here and on the DOM menu here and if you can always make a new layer here if you are using the basic edit vectors or sorry basic the create vector stuff here so that was a uh, brief information about the drawing palette how it looks like uh, in case you did something wrong and you set the material size wrong or thickness wrong you can go use this little icon here and go back and change your job setup your thickness and so on and so forth uh, now, if we see at the right side this little toolpath thing, which is more like a flyout menu, once you you roll your mouse over it, it's gonna bring up the toolpath palette, and if you hit the pin, it's gonna hold it down. Now, this entire area is more about toolpath operations, where you can set up the material. I mean, you can again, it's a similar thing than what you did there. You can set the thickness, repair clearance gap, home position. Uh, you can diff develop a different tool pads. It's going to be a V carving, and then next is a profile and pocket and drilling. And below are the features to It's more like once you've developed those old things, you can edit them, you can delete them, you can estimate the time, or you can save it so that you can execute it later on the Shopbot control software. Uh, you can recalculate a tool path if you need to in some cases. And I'll show you in the later tutorial how that thing is going to be very helpful. And this little button here is more about a previewing a toolpath. So you can actually preview your toolpath uh, on this uh, Potworks design software to see how it's going to machine your object uh, or machine your design. Now, so far we have covered how you can develop the vectors here. But if you want to import a file that you may have, you may have made in the different design package, like Illustrator or AutoCAD or SolidWorks, uh, then you can do it by going a file and import the file. The shortcut is Control I. Uh, also, you can use this little icon here, import vectors from a file. You can use that too, whatever is comfortable for you. I'm going to do import here. And uh, I have one file ready that I'm going to import real quick. It's going to be small part file, open. Oh, I don't see it on the material. Whoa, well, it's too big. Uh, a lot of people have this complaint that, that when they import it doesn't fit the material. Well, this means that whenever whatever the software package you use, uh, you may have a different unit setup than what you have over here. So here it could be inches, and there you made it in millimeters, or you or vice versa. You made it in millimeters, and it's something different here. So it was just to focus that mistake and hope you guys uh, will make sure that whenever you develop your design on any of the software, you need to know the units, whatever units are there, inches or millimeter, you set exactly over here and it shouldn't be doing whatever it did here. So I'm going to delete that. I have already an inches file ready for my thing. So I'm going to go 
inch a small power file and I'm gonna bring it in this is the real size of uh, the vector once the vector is in here uh, it will require a further processing in order to connect these all small little joints and make them you know like a one constant profile and then later on you prepare a toolpath using this profile toolpath here but that's we will be covering in the next tutorial I uh, hope this was informative and thank you for watching